Oh my, those were some nice women. Ah, yeah, you know, that's what people really need. After uh, reviewing two crappy episodes of a show that for some strange reason a lot of people like, I just need to get some nice women in action. In action. Uh, uh, all right. Now, what's my video for today? How strong are Big Mom Pirates? Big Mom Pirates. Oh, the group, uh, the Yonko group from One Piece. Oh, that's right. Alright, now, first, some of you are probably gonna say, why are making this video this late? They're like, been like, what, three weeks since the Holy Cake Island arc ended? Now, yes. No, first thing, I watched the anime. So, I'm not gonna be ranking the, can, the pirates in the, in like the order how they end the anime. Mostly because I want it to be colored and not just black and white. So yeah, that, that's what, and that's basically going to be my thing. Like, I'm aware of what happens, like I've watched Tekken 101's reviews of the manga, but I'm more interested watching the anime because I find it better. Mostly be because it's easier to see and be in VR and how awesome it is. No, anyways, let's discuss how strong the Big Mom Pirates are. Now, okay, I can already see people are saying, the reason why I'm putting Smoothie and Mercury here is because they are hot, beautiful women. Self-exploratory. I mean, I could put like Fuku, Cracker, and some animal power members, but I feel like putting Mukuru and Smoothie's Smoothie hair is a lot better. So, with that explanation out of the way, let's finally, finally get into it. Now, with the Big Mom Pirates, I found some very mis reactions from people, or very different. Like, for example, some people say the Big Mom Pirates would are, are stronger than White Bear Pirates. Or at least they could have done a hell of a lot better in Marine 4 than White Bear Pirates. Which is which the facts they bring up are very good and understandable. But then, then there are some other people who consider Big Mom to be weaker than a warlord. Like I'm pretty sure one YouTuber actually went to rank the, the most powerful people and he actually put Big Mom behind Dracul Mihawk. I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure he did that. So yeah, the Big Mom Pirates are pretty mixed. To say the least. Which is... But for me, there are actually some reasons why they consider Big Mom Pirates to be weaker th than they would expect. But I think, think I can argue with all of that. Like we started, the reason why some people would consider Big Mom Pirates weak is because Smoothie did practically nothing. Well, thank you, she did something, but it was more than less nothing. Now... Although it was the case with that, I personally feel like the reason why they did nothing was because, why Smooth did nothing was because, well, I mean, come on, people, Paul, it was like not even attendant to be a hundred chapters. Hell, I think it was there that it was actually supposed to originally be shorter than it really was. And, yeah. And besides, this was a ta and the mission of this was to go to Holy Cake Island, grab Sanji, and leave. Like, it wasn't face all three sweet commanders, face Big Mom, that wasn't the case. So having not battling, have like an, a couple of chapters battle between Smoothie and, I don't know, Jinbei or somebody actually makes sense. So I'm kind of standing for the whole smooth not gain this thing. I mean, how she might actually be more of a talented people in Big Mom Pirates, as far as we know. But still, I'm guessing that in the next we're possibly going when she's gonna be more active, possibly get more of Alpha. 
Hell, maybe she'll be the pirate that comes to Wano from Big One Pirates if the theory about Big One Pirates hunting Luffy down actually it will be the case. So yeah, that's one of the reasons. The next reason why people consider Big One Pirates to be a weak is because... Or at least weaker, is because Bobbin. I mean, his first introduction was coming into being sent to Big Mom to destroy a country. Oh well, yes, that is pretty a badass moment for a guy just to be in there and fucking destroy a country. But let's all be real here, his death would basically explain how he destroyed a country. Like, or burned down to the ground, but still. I think the reason why he was able to burn the country down was because everybody the fuck was asleep. Plus, you don't exactly need to ha be, like, insanely powerful to burn down a country. I mean, you just need to, like, have a giant army, which Big Mom does have, and we got to them a bit later. And he, and, basically, he makes everybody fall asleep and just starts burning the shit down, like, just one crazy and flames. Like, that's literally how, how, how the, it takes. So that's exactly the most bad, doesn't mean to have the most badass of all things. Now the favorites that people seem to be considering the Big One Pirates as weaker than or the weakest Yonko faction or something around that line is because well apparent because Nami and Jinbei seem to have pretty much kicked her ass when she was after them. Which Takin made, made a, in the chapter reviews explaining why Big Mom makes kind of sense. Like seriously she was on a fucking boat. Fucking boat that was smaller than her. Like, we have seen how big the ship that probably transports her is. And recently in the manga chapter, we see how big she was as a child, so yeah. One of the reasons why is because... So yeah, it somewhat makes sense. Plus, we're keeping the balance thing. And hell, it's not like the people who were able to like push her off the ship were weaklings or anything. So yeah. That's one of the reasons why they consider the Big One Pirates to be weaker. Now, ma no, 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 if you ask me what I think, I think that if the, all the Straw Hats and the entire Grand Fleet, like every single member, the entire Germa, the Fire Tanks, the Fishman Pirates, and possibly some other Supernovas, or the entire Fishman Kingdom, if they faced Big Mom Pirates, it would be a pretty close match, but and ultimately the Big Mom Pirates would win. Now people say, that's a bit too much, don't you think? Well, I don't think so. Because if you really think about it, it makes sense. Like, category, like seriously, seriously. The, what we can presume was the strongest or the second strongest. I mean, we don't exactly know if Judge is stronger than his children. We are presumed that he is stronger than Junji because Judge kicked Sanji's ass and Sanji kicked Junji's ass. But as far as we know, Judge can defeat, be defeated by Chiji. But yeah. Katakuri basically what, basically what made a bitch out of Ichiji in the manga. Like, seriously. See? Junji just in his arms knocked out. So, Gemma, my double six, would be uh, incredibly powerful. And their strongest warrior just bitch slapped their strongest warrior. But I understand. You people think it's a bit over the top. But here's the thing. As much as Karakuri is overpowered compared to most others, there's one other little thing. We have never actually seen the full force of the Big Mom Pirates. Like really people, we technically haven't seen the full force of the Big Mom Pirates. Like think about it. The first time we actually seen a bit of their force was when Luffy was by the enraged army. Which, considering the fact that they were apparently strong enough to go, they thought they were strong enough to go up against a guy who defeated one of the strongest warriors, means they have fucking, fucking strength. 
And plus, remember, the only reason why they actually last Luffy and Nami lasted as long as they did is because the three that we presume are the strongest out there, which were uh, Mandor, Galat, and uh, Mira, I believe it was her name. Like, as soon as those three like, went into the battle, the battle, it was like over. Like, seriously. Just three members and a couple of other strong and a bunch of other like an army of strong fighters went up against them and they were like bitch slap. Like seriously, that's impressive. And then we later find out that, that enriched army was probably just ten percent of the big mom pirates. Maybe even last. Because later in the in the wedding we see a bunch of the pirates, and we know that's not all of them. Um, then we go into a fl then we go then later we see in one of the chapters that Daifuku had his Daifuku had his own fleet fleet which he accidentally wiped out with his genie but still the, so and Smoothie had a fleet behind her so two flipping people had fleets behind them and there was still more pirates more in there how it seems like it Hell, as much as people, hell, it seemed like every single, hell, later it seemed to be said that everyone that was at the island, every, the, the chocolate island, it was like their full fleet, everything was at that island specifically. But if you ask me, that technically isn't the case because, you know, Kataku, because, you know, Katakuri wasn't there there, Flampe wasn't in there with her members, well they were all in the mirror but not in the, the island. Uh, people who went behind Big Mom weren't with them, Smoothie was next next to her but not, not about her fleet and, her, and the ship that Daifuku was on wasn't on the island. And not to mention all the other people that were taken down earlier which were probably resting. How as far as we know, Cracker could still have shown up, he just didn't. So yeah, Big Mom Pirates are str didn't exactly show us how many of them flipping are. Like, maybe all f all the months, all the... Maybe all... It's possible that Big Mom, all, all three sweet commanders, the, the siblings of Katakuri, Flamir and Peros Peros, like, all of them can have fleets behind them. Like, I think that's what they were kind of going for, that all the strongest ones can have fleets behind them. That's how many of them they are. They are. But, it's kind of hard to say specifically. But yeah, Big Mom Pirates aren't weak. Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure the only reason why they actually went to get them up the bullets they can shoot through the soul Germa siblings is because they just want to go it f for it quicker so they can fucking gain their feet capture so they aren't going to uh, allow Luffy to escape. That's basically the only reason why I feel like they went there. I'm pretty sure that eventually the the pirates would big Mom pirates would eventually be able to like smack Germa double six to the ground. How we didn't even freaking see the entire uh, yes, you know, Charlotte family. Well, for the ones who still are part of that. And possibly alive. But still. There was no, We haven't actually seen how many of them is like air flight. So we kind of have hard way to describe. But we know they are flipping been in unbelievably powerful. Like we know they are incredibly strong. Like seriously. There are people who even aren't sweet commanders and they are freakishly strong enough to like beat people who would be defeated by sweet commanders like who would somewhat battle sweet commanders. Like really, Baron Tomago fought P Pietro off. Arvin didn't seem to be that damaged by Ichijia's attacks. Ichijia's attacks. Daifuku seemed like his genie can went up against German double six no problem. And Begma hasn't even sh went, didn't even show how she's in natural combat. And she's freaking durable as fuck. So yeah, the Bigman Pirates are incredibly powerful. 
Like, for me, personally, I feel like they're, they're quite possibly the strongest crew. Aside, maybe, be Shang, aside, Shanks and Blackbeards, possibly. Because, YB Pirates had a lot of allies. But, but Big Man Pirates have, incre have their sub boys be so flipping po Their mammoths are flipping insanely powerful. Like, I don't really see the sweet commanders, like, whooping the, the uh, white beards, free commanders, commanders, like, like, bitches. Like, I don't really see that. Then we go, then we go up against, then, so, yeah, they are flipping more powerful. If you ask me, white beard pirates would lose if they went on a straight up battle, battle for people. Oh, here's a video idea for everybody who is more aware of the One Piece world than I am. How would... If YB and Black Big Man Pirates fought, who would win? Not to solve, make a video about this possibly next week. So yeah, Big Man Pirates are strong. They are incredibly powerful. Like, seriously, the only the ones that fight the most are the flipping strongest people. Like, Luffy fights the most, and he is the strongest in the arc, except Big Mom, and... I'm still kinda, like, once wondering if Kirei beat Katakuri, because both of them fought up in the same time, and it seemed like Katakuri stood up before Luffy, and if I remember exactly, Luffy stand up after Katakuri stand up, it was just the after effects of the damage just went to Katakuri, so... It's kind of hard to say specifically. But yeah, the main bomb parts are strong as fuck. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if... If, like, they... Like, say what you want about Kaido and, like, defeating Big Mom. Like, you can say it all day long, but... If you just go by a cruise, like, Jack would be getting his ass kicked. Like, I don't really see Jack being defeated by Cracker and quite possibly Smoothie. Oh, yeah, wait is Hell, you know what? I wonder if Smoothie is like one of these few you people in Darfur users who can actually not be affected by it. Like, imagine, like Smoothie taking so much freaking liquid, or was it juice, I don't know really, into her body that she goes so flipping large that she can literally like walk on water. I mean, even amongst long legs, she seems incredibly tall, so I won't doubt that. So yeah, if you ask me, for right now, I feel like the Big Man Pirates which can defeat, like it will be a strong match for sure, but they can still defeat uh, Straw, all the Straw ha ha like if all the Straw Hats, like Sanji, Zoro, Luffy, Jinbe, like all of them, entire Gemma Double Six, all the Fire Tank pi pi Pirates, Pirates, all the Fishman Pirates, and just so we more realistic, also the Fishman Island people, people, the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, all of members, not one of them missing. If they went up against them, like if it was between them and the Big One Pirates, I feel like the Big One Pirates would have a hard battle, but eventually they'll come out on top. Like seriously, there's no doubt. That the big one parts are quite possibly the strongest crew right now in the story. Like even though they lost to Luffy, like but we only need to remember most of the reasons why it was plot convenience. Like, oh my god, thank god that the fishman pirates were still there to stop stop the the Fukas Muni's fleets from stopping the being the straw hats. Like, thank God the Opera Light in the meeting they have no idea about. Like, thank God Chopper and Carrot captured Brulee. Like, seriously, most of that was plot convenience. So, I think we can all agree that for now, the Big Mom Pirates are definitely the strongest sh pirate crew we have seen. Like, it's possible that the Kaido and Blackbeard Pirates are sh and Shank Pirates are possibly stronger, but then again, we don't exactly know much of them. But right now in the story, they are the strongest, if you ask me. But yeah, again, this is all my personal opinion. Tell me in the comments below how powerful you think the Big Man Pirates are. I hope you liked this video. I hope you guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. 
And that's it. I cannot wait to see other people next time. Bye.